Hi, I'm Ed Sobey from Kids Invent. Today we're looking at pneumatic blast rockets. This is a great activity that kids will love and will want to do several times or many times. So that, that is up to you. We provide all the materials that you need, except that you might run out of scrap paper. I'll show you how to make the rockets, and I hope you will show your children, your students, how to make the rockets. But we won't show them how to make them fly very well. That's the innovation. That's where teams of students need to think and design and maybe swipe ideas from other teams, but they need to come up with their own ideas. Once the rockets start flying far, 30, 40, 50, 80 feet, 100 feet, the kids get very excited and they're eager to try more changes and to do more measurements. So we'll start by making the rocket. We use a piece of scrap paper and the size and weight aren't really critical, uh, so using some, something from the recycling bin is wonderful. We roll that around a piece of PVC pipe. This pipe is 3 quarter inch and we will supply that to you. Now, before they tape that, we need to make sure that the tube will slide out easily so it doesn't hang up on the rocket. I like to tape the fuselage in three places. And there's the fuselage. Took me about, what, 15, 20 seconds to make. Now I'm going to make one end airtight, and so I pinch with my index fingers and then collapse with my thumb and middle finger and I will tape that. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to be airtight and would really like the rocket to be airtight. So I'm going to fold that over one more time and tape it again. And now that should be airtight. How do we know? Well, we blow air in nothing comes out. So we're good to go. So there's the rocket. Less than a minute, we have the rocket. We're ready to fly. But it won't fly very far. It might fly across a classroom, uh, but probably not. To launch the rocket, we slide it on an identical PVC pipe. And there it is. Slides on and off nice and easily. This is a piece of bicycle inner tube and a two liter bottle. You might start collecting extras because your kids will love the activity and you'll want to use uh, lots of these bottles. The bottles last for about 50 to 80 launches as long as the kids, when they jump on it with one foot, don't jump on the end. So that's the requirement in launching. Jump in the middle, one foot, and then the bottle will be good for a long time. We straighten the hose out. You hold the hose, aim it at the angle they would like. One of the team members jumps with one foot on the bottle and off the rocket goes. A good one will go 150, 160 feet. It takes a little while to get that to go. What do they need to really make a great rocket? Well, we don't tell them this, but a couple things they can do. One, of course, is put some very small fins that are aligned with the rocket. If they're at an angle, they'll be slowing the rocket down. If they're all at the same angle, they will give the rocket a spiral or a roll. They can put a little nose cone to make this a little bit more aerodynamic. And maybe counterintuitively, they can add some weight, two, three, four, even more paper clips in the nose just jam the paper clip on and tape it. Each time they make one of these modifications, we, we hope their rocket will go a little bit farther. They measure the distance, which requires that you put out some markers in advance so they can quickly measure the distance, record it on the board with their team name so they can see their progress. They will want to do this all day long as long as their rockets are going. To conclude, if there's time, take the rocket that's gone the farthest and try launching it at different angles. Now, we're not giving you a protractor, but possibly you have one. You can launch it at 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 45, and somewhere in between, and have the students uh, suggest how far the rocket will go at each of those different angles. Measure 
as best you can the angle, measure how far the rocket goes, and you've got a graphical, graphable set of data that they, uh, they can go ahead and work on in their teams. So a complete science project from the initiation of making a model, testing the model, retesting it as many times as we, we have time to do that, collecting the data, making the measurements, this is science. Have a lot of fun.